Across the Black Waters. Across the Black Waters is an English novel by the Indian writer Mulkraj Anand. First published in 1939, it describes the experience of Lalu, a sepoy in the Indian Army fighting on behalf of Britain against the Germans in France during World War I. He is portrayed by the author as an innocent peasant whose poor family was evicted from their land and who only vaguely understands what the war is about. The book has been described as Anand's best work since The Untouchable to assist the British in their war against Germany, presumably World War I. Indian sepoys, who were ruled by British back then, were sent across the Black Waters, stationed at various places in France. The sepoys fight bravely in response to the Sarkar salt. They have eaten displaying their loyalty to the British, the English, throughout. Lack guns and the sepoys were destined to fight with their old-fashioned bayonets against the Germans' machine guns. They also possess the wonderful steel birds. The resentment in such cases among the sepoys were pictured perfectly. The protagonist Lal Singh, called Lalu, was uneducated, actually only educated, sepoy in their regiment. He grow relationships between various people, and become close to Kirpa Singh, whom he address as Uncle Kirpu, and Danu Singh, or Daddy Danu, both of whom die eventually in battle. His friend Subha Singh, who was a peer when they came to France, was promoted to J. Mother, by his father, who was a major, Abel Singh. The very good Hawilda Lachman Singh dies in the very first offensive which promotes Uncle Kirpu to Lance Naik. While Lance Naik Loknath gets promoted to Hawilda under Subha Singh and Loknath's autocracy, the whole regiment, especially Lalu, suffers. The novel depicts inaccurate details the bloodshed, the gory face of battle. It brings before you the entirety of the imagery of a war. Jealousy, anger, pride, vanity, love, despair, spirituality, and what not. Every emotional element of humanity was so aptly introduced into the plot, without philosophizing to the reader. Throughout the novel, we see Lalu's despair, his agnosticism, his pragmatism, and his love of life. He wanted to live, yet seeing each and every one of his associates die. He was soaked partly in sorrow and partly in determination to live. Such an endearing portrayal of the protagonist, who remain a sepoy until the end of the novel. Germans throughout the novel were defined as demons, and the English as the fair side, with booming praise for the civility and hospitality of French people, who were the English's ally and on whose grounds the fight took place. In the denouement, every superior of his battalion died before his very eyes. While they were ordered an offense on the incredibly stronger Germans. The climax is unbelievable. I never thought the author would end the story in such a way. The climax leaves the reader in utter restlessness, incredibility, and annoyance, in a lovely way. End of the book review. Thank you.